places on earth hold the mystery, superstitions, and enchantment of Africa. Known as the cradle of civilization, the African continent has witnessed the transformation of mankind like no other. Where cavemen first began hunting wild animals with bow and broadheads. Today going on a bow hunt to Africa is one of the ultimate adventures of a lifetime. And many who travel to the dark continent begin a passionate love affair with the land, the animals, and the adventure that takes them deep into their roots of bow hunting. Hi everybody, I'm Tom Miranda, and thanks for your interest in my African bow hunting camp. You know, there's a lot of hunting opportunity out there, and always limited dollars. So I want to take a few minutes of your time to discuss some ideas on how to prepare and how to get the most value out of your upcoming African adventure. In Africa, you'll be able to choose how you want to hunt, from a ground blind, tree stand, or spot and stalk. Often spot and stalk is done from a vehicle, meaning you'll ride in the back of a land cruiser as the driver slowly navigates Jeep trails through the concession. If the target animal is spotted, the truck will either stop or drive past. Here you'll get off the vehicle, get the wind right, and attempt to sneak into range. The best way to practice spot and stalk hunting at home is to shoot kneeling and at odd yardages. Also use brush to obscure the target because many of the animals you'll get a shot at will likely be hidden somewhat by grass or brush. Of course, blind hunting is the easiest and most successful way to hunt in Africa. Animals will be close and likely will not see you draw your bow in the confines of the blind. That said, shooting from a blind is not a technique that's practiced very much. So I suggest that you practice shooting from a pop-up blind at home to acclimate the shooting through a small opening accurately. The key things to remember in blind hunting is that you must have arrow, bow limb, and riser clearance. Your arrow must clear the shooting window, and the riser, bow limbs, or cams must not contact the blind before, during, or after the shot. Otherwise, you'll miss or make a bad hit. You must use good shooting form, anchor correctly, and not torque the bow. Pick a spot in the vitals on the animal and shoot that spot, all the while thinking about how the arrow will exit through the vitals. Also remember, that it's easy to relax in a blind and slouch in your chair. Then when the animal comes in, your body's not in a shooting position. Often it's dead quiet and the animals are close, so you can't rustle clothing or squeak a chair. Otherwise, the animals are alert and are likely gone. Keep in mind that it's essential to sit in the blind at an angle where your opposite shooting shoulder points toward the area where the shot will likely occur. Excessive movement or noise with animals in close will cost you a shot. For tree stand sits, I recommend shooting in a sitting position. Standing will attract too much attention and spook the game. Also, aim a touch low. Gravity has less effect on the arrow's downward trajectory, and most tree stand shots tend to be high. Look at the size of that Niala bull. Oh, man. A high hit on an African animal is a wounded animal that likely is never it's found. Huge. Whether you hunt from a tree stand, elevated hide, or ground blind, staying alert is crucial to success. These animals will sneak in and out of water holes, and you won't even know it. Here's a huge tip. Several birds in Africa will alert you if an animal is approaching the blind. The gray lorry is active in the bushveld treetops, and they will make a <laughs> calling sound if animals are walking near them. If you hear a lorry calling, grab your bow and get ready, because it just might be your chance. Gear-wise, bring your whitetail hunting rig for African Plains game. 65 to 70 pound draw is best, but lesser poundage will work on most of the smaller animals with sharp broadheads and accurate shots. My bow rig has changed somewhat over the years, but essentially, I'm using a Matthews bow at 72 pound draw with a QAD drop away rest, B Stinger stabilizer, and an IQ Pro Hunter bow sight. My arrows are Carbon Express 350s with 100 grain open on impact rage broadheads. 
I suggest either Rage or three blade muzzy trocars like these. Arrows and broadhead combo should weigh about 400 grain or heavier. I typically opt for speed as a 400 grain arrow out of a quick bow will get it done with less of a chance for the animal to string jump. And the most African animals will string jump. All of my African Plains game were taken with these two style of broadheads. On Dangerous Game, double the arrow weight and use 180 grain German Kinetics cut on impact broadheads like this. I suggest that you bring five arrows a day for each day of your hunt. So on a seven day hunt, bring three dozen arrows because you don't want to run out of ammo. I will say that my last Cape Buffalo was taken with a 72 pound Matthews Halon using a 900 grain weight arrow and broadhead combo. I used the IQ Pro Hunter bow sight with the top two pins set at 20 and 30 yards for my light arrows. And the bottom rover pin was set to 20 yards for the heavy arrows. This gave me a setup for both Cape Buffalo and Plains game using only one bow. And as you can see, it worked flawlessly. Yes! Good job, Zach. Excellent job. It's impossible to move him. So what an incredible Shot placement is crucial on any hunt. You must remember that when bow hunting in Africa, it's essential to kill with one arrow. African animals are tough, and they'll run into thick areas when wounded. Do you believe that? That's what he looked like when I shot him. Look at if that. If you can't find your animal before dark, Likely jackal, hyena, leopard, or who knows what will find it and eat it, ruining the cape. Wounded animals must be paid for, whether they'll live or not, so shooting accurately is important. A good pal of mine, Dr. Kevin Robertson, wrote a book called The Perfect Shot, and I recommend you getting a copy. The Perfect Shot is a labor of love. I, it took me four hours a day for four years of dedicated work to produce The Perfect Shot, and I I loved every minute of it. It was an absolute challenge. All of the diagrams are derived from animal dissections which I conducted and then we'd clean the bones and we'd photograph them and then sometimes even boil them to get the shape exactly right. The book has been well used and it's enabled people to hunt more humanely and uh, just generally have a, a better hunting experience. In Africa, you'll want to look at the animal's vitals as a golden triangle. The best shots are broadside, and typically you'll shoot straight up the front leg. The next best shot is a quartering away shot, with the arrow angled to the opposite front leg. Never take a quartering toward or frontal shot in Africa, as the percentages of recovery are very, very low. Well, hi everybody, and well, welcome to my trophy room here in Florida. This is the African collection. I'm very proud of these animals. It's a lot of bow hunting going on here to take the 34 animals needed for SCI's Animals of Africa milestone. I've got the big six, the elephant, the lion, the leopard, the Cape buffalo, the rhino, and the hippopotamus. You'll notice that only the cats are full mounted. The lion's on a wall mounted habitat, the leopard on a pedestal. I actually have three pedestal mounts, the Leopard, a Sable, and the Oryx. Most of my African Plains game is displayed as shoulder mounts. Like most guys, at first I didn't have a good place to display my trophies. So I did most animals with a straight pose, a few left turn and a few right turn. When you come to Africa for the first time, I recommend planning to shoot at least three species. Impala are plentiful and you'll get many opportunities. Kudu are more difficult, but they are one of the most prized Plains game animals. If you can take both an Impala and a Kudu, then consider shooting a specialty animal, like an Oryx, a Sable, Niala, Waterbuck, Roan, Blessbuck, or Hartebeest. Warthogs are fun to hunt and plentiful, but they require spot-on shooting. Other species are even more challenging. Eland, Zebra, and Wildebeest are tough animals to kill and must have perfect shot placement. 
Animals like spring buck, reed buck, sesame, bush buck, and bush pig take special planning and are often hunted in specialized areas of South Africa. Don't worry, if you want one, we have access. It's just that these species are not as common in the Shalati Game Reserve as in other areas. The tiny diker, steen buck, and clip springer are also prized, and if an opportunity presents itself, don't let one pass. These species are some of the toughest animals to get with a bow. Look at this. Look at the horns. Well, not everyone has a trophy room, but a few African animals taken at the Tom Miranda bow hunting camp and mounted and displayed in your man cave will really bring back a lot of memories of bow hunting in Africa. My African bow hunting safari main camp is about a four hour drive from the Johannesburg airport. The camp is situated in the Shalanti Game Reserve, a 30,000 acre wildlife park. Because the reserve is a drive through wildlife park, we have the exclusive bow hunting rights to the property. To accommodate the park's non-hunting patrons and to give the animals a rest, we only bow hunt the week before and the week after the new moon, from May through September. The main lodge is spectacular, with all the amenities on site, which allows only a short drive to most stands and blinds. It's not uncommon to see elephant, hippo, leopard, and rhino from the blinds. Also, to accommodate hunters seeking unique animals, we manage several other properties exclusive to bow hunting. There are also yearly opportunities to bow hunt with me in camp. Of course, openings are very limited, but I have been known just to pop into camp unannounced. So even when booking dates when I'm not scheduled, it doesn't mean I just won't show up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video presentation, and I urge you to click the contact us email on my website just to say hello or to book your hunting dates. Stay well, and I'll see you in Africa.